Right, Dave here again. Just thought I'd show you a, a drawing of ones I built years ago. And this is um, so that you can see what to do uh, when you build one with a gas cylinder. <coughs> so that's one of the big cylinders there. You can see it's 15 inches, 380 mil. But this here is still the same dimension, four times the diameter or the square of that, which is that measurement there. <clears throat> now, some people insist in putting it in the middle. It makes absolutely no difference. You can slide that in or out wherever you want it. If you put it to the back, it'll still work the same. It makes no difference if it's in the middle or right at the back, as long as you maintain that measurement there. That's what's critical, which is <coughs> there. So the height for that doesn't really matter when it's inside the cylinder. The most important thing to remember is this measurement here, from the top to the cylinder to there, wants to be two and a half inches, which makes it perform the best performance. If you lower it down it actually doesn't perform so well um, and you just need a little gap underneath there which because of the, the radius of the, the bottom of the cylinder but that works and there's the measurements I've put all the measurements on there for you there's the grill that goes in there that, that's that piece there's the basket which I've drawn there so you can see how to make one of those baskets there's all the measurements, stainless steel, 303 stainless steel that is, which is the, obviously the cheaper end of the market. And there you can see all the other measurements on there for the door and all the bits and pieces that go on the back. There's the uh, flue dimensions, door on the back of the flue. Um, you, you just need to weld a couple of lugs on to bolt it on the back. Uh, but it's, it's advisable to put a seal on the back of that and this is what I use it's a little bit of a little bit of rope uh, glass rope and what you do is to hold it on it's quite simple you go round the outside and you use a bit of uh, gaffer tape to hold that on so you put a bit of tape over there and then you fix it all round the edge of the uh, the flue and that will hold it in position when you weld it up uh, when, you, when you bolt the door on so you've got a bit of box section like that which is that so you're going to hold it there like that and then what you're going to do is put a piece of tape over there over there and go all the way around and then that will hold it in position when you bolt your door on uh, not difficult just a little tip for you to make it a bit easier when you seal the door. Uh, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So what you've got to remember is the radius here is 25 mil, which is a bit of 25 mil bar to get that rad. And that's all I did. It's not difficult to do. This does work. You need to put that on legs uh, so it keeps it off the floor. Otherwise, you, you'll find that the concrete doesn't uh, doesn't like it too much. Um, and that, that's really all I did. That's a shutter that goes in the bottom to go in there. That's what that does, that just goes in the bottom. Or you can have a, an ash pan, posh ash pan to go in there, but I didn't bother. I just had a little, little drop. That's what I made, um, what was that? Oh, nearly 10 years ago, so there we are. That's a, a low down on the latest, uh, well, one of my old fires but uh, don't be lost to the fact that you can move that centre tube uh, to the side it doesn't matter it will still work and it will still work efficiently and it will still give you a lot of heat because the idea is that you're heating a bigger area with a cylinder to give you as a space heater that's what that is it's just a space heater and um, so this is totally spicy, as that's all I make, um, except for the new boiler I've just made. But the reason for making the new type, the Mark III, was that I actually got more heat out of that than I did the cylinder. 
Um, seem to put out a fair bit of heat, but not enough. Um, so I get more heat that way. Uh, there we are. This is Dave signing off. Um, don't forget the bits at the bottom. S subscribe for thumbs up or thumbs down, or leave us a message at the bottom. Uh, anything you don't understand, I will try and answer the questions if if uh, they're sensible questions. Uh, just, so thanks for watching. We'll catch you all later on the flip side.